how I got these results. As I described, uh, one of the most uh, convincing results were, were uh, performed with the custom phases database with the agent phases algorithm and compare the results with the feature phases algorithm. As we can see, the success rate is very different. And after something like that, we could conclude that the feature phases algorithm outperforms the agent phases. So let's check that again in the program. So we are going to run the phases recognizer using the agent phases method. We need to define the custom database, it's defined here, and we need to run it. The, the output is shown here. So let's wait, let's see what happened. It's running, right now it's training the input images from the custom faces database, and now is the output. So this is the success rate 57% keep in mind this value now it's time to run feature phases this is the algorithm which implements the feature phases method to perform phase recognition in still images so it's running again So keep in mind, 57% for agent phases. Now for fishing phases, we got the success rate of 93%. That's much more, a much more perform, a much better performance by the fisher phases algorithm, and it's pretty cool. So I performed the same, the same experiment over and over again with each, uh, each one uh, of the eight databases and the results were shown here so that's how I did it now let's <coughs> I want to show you one of the most important and one of the I had a lot from writing this this algorithm because this algorithm uh, performs several things first of all it detects the face uh, it preprocesses the image, and after that, it detects it detects faces in video, and that's really cool. So I can use any any database, and I can perform things like gender recognition, identify if a person is wearing glasses or not, identify the name of a person if the person is previously in the database, and things like that. So let's run this this algorithm using the custom faces database so what, what we expect here is recognition of the subject which is in the camera so in this case it will recognize me so right now it's training the model You can see there is recognized to Juan David, which is me. As you can see, the classification performs pretty good when it detects my eyes. So, it's changing, it's identifying me again, yeah, so that's how it works. Let's change the subject right now, the database. So, what I want now is gender classification, so let's call the gender faces yet database, and let's see what happens. In this case, it will detect a male, because I am a male. Okay, so the training process is running again. Let's wait for, for the result. And the 
beginning of the video. Okay. Oh, it's, as you can see, it's identifying ML. But what happens if I change my position? As you can see, it can identify females sometimes. These algorithms are very sensitive to the head position. But in general, you can see that it can identify me as a male in most of the cases, so it works pretty good. Okay, now let's move to the classification, the identification of glasses for a person. Okay, so it's working again. So as you can see, it's not identified. It's identified. This person doesn't have any glasses. So it's fine. But what happens if I put my glasses? As you can see, it's identifying that the person is wearing glasses. Yeah. However, uh, you can you can see that the algorithm, the detector, the face detector is having problems. It doesn't work as frequently as if I wouldn't wear any glasses, as you can see. So glasses affect a lot of the face recognition process, but as you can see, this process works pretty good. Okay, what about images, still images? So, what I want to do right now is perform still images identification. So let's check. I wanted to check this image, Stark 18 JPG. And I wanted to identify if the person who is there is wearing glasses or not. So, the train is running, and as you can see, this girl is wearing glasses, and the algorithm was able to identify it. It's really cool. Okay, now let's perform a gender classification. Gender classification. With... This image. We are expecting that this is going to perform gender classification for all the persons in the image. They are four people. So let's see if everything works good. So the algorithm is being trained. It's done. So as you can see, it identified three of the four girls. She was identified uh, maybe because of the of her head orientation, because it is in angle. But these girls were, were identified, and as you can see, they were identified as female. So it was really, really good. Okay, and finally, let's use the custom faces database to identify in a picture with two persons. So we need to wait uh, for the training to end. And one of the process that lasts the most is the training process. And as you can see, Juan David was identified. This is me, and this is my sister, and it was really, really good. Okay, so that's all. That's all I did in this project. I have a lot of fun and I learn a lot about pattern recognition, about the use of principal component analysis in classification, the features discriminant, linear discriminant is really cool. And I learn a lot about how to implement this in, in the real world. And I will look to, uh, I would like to keep working in this.
Okay, so thank you very much. That's all.